Hey guys, how's it going? Check this bad boy out. I just picked this up about a week ago. I've been waiting to do a video on it. Um, but for those of you who aren't familiar, I of course absolutely love Microtech. I think they're a wonderful company and they make some of the finest knives that I've personally handled in, in quite some time. Um, but without further ado, this is the Microtech SBD Dagger. And very, very, very nice combat knife. Probably one of the nicest combat knives I've ever had the pleasure of owning, carrying. Um, it's incredibly slim, but also incredibly robust. Definitely tank-like. You can see here, they've included their standard kind of Kydex Bolteron style sheath. With, of course, the Microtech signature hardware there. It comes with a nice tech lock on the back, keeps it secure to the belt. I like those a lot. You can see it's got a, kind of a retention ring similar to a karambit, but you can also see that my fingertip doesn't even fit in there. So kind of, uh, you know, just kind of like a lanyard hole almost for most people, I would say for sure. I don't think it can really be used for any advanced uh, weapon manipulation or a flailing kind of like a karambit would. But, you know, to each their own. I like the design. It probably takes some weight out of it as well, so I'm all for it. But for those of you guys who are unfamiliar, this, of course, is a double-edged dagger-style blade. So definitely sharp on both ends, razor sharp. I mean, this thing is a lightsaber. I got the stonewashed apocalyptic version of the SBD dagger, which is honestly my first choice. Um, it was the only one they had since I couldn't find any of these in stock. But honestly, they're, they're very, very awesome knives, for sure, without a doubt. I'm going to see if I can't zoom in on this. Mine came in Bowler M390. Which honestly is my preferred steel from Microtech. But any way you slice it, you get good steel from Microtech. So it can't go wrong either way. But mine is Bowler M390. Feels fantastic. You can see it's got quite a bit of jimping on both sides and for the reverse grip. But man, what a nice knife. Double edge too is just incredibly useful. The way they do their bevels and they cut this is just absolutely fantastic too. I'm never disappointed with the geometry of a Microtech knife. It's incredibly good weight not much else to say really for those of you kind of wondering for size comparison I'll put my LUDT next to it let me get it from my pocket and you can see there's the LUDT fully extended so definitely a good size combat knife, but not the biggest either, which is honestly like my preferred preference with knives. I've, I've strayed away from a lot of the bigger Bowie fixed knives, um, you know, just a lot of the bigger knives in general with like over a foot long blade, that kind of thing. Um, me personally, I find this to be a very good amount of blade while still allowing for a good amount of concealment depending on what you're wearing. So, you know, for those of you who like to carry a fixed blade as well as a folding knife like I do just for utility and combat you can kind of determine how you'd like your setup to be but for me personally i carry this where i carry all my magazines for my firearm on my left side of my hip and it blends in really well with pretty much anything i'm wearing uh, conceals extremely well under a hoodie basic stuff i mean i don't need to dress any crazy way to conceal this thing so it really is awesome I just wanted to give you guys a look at that since I've been picking up some Microtex lately. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Definitely comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time.